Hello once again, YouTubers. Um, so after my daring feat of insomnia, I'm pulling another wild run at three in the morning. <laughs> um, I'm going over the this deck because one of one of two reasons. One, because my dad basically collected everything and I told him it's a good idea, and it is a good idea because it is an underdog deck. It's really good. Kind of really good. Now as goes the other stuff, it has loads of consistency issues for the time being. I'm still working on it. Um, this is probably like my next version that I did. I added Junk Synchron. Um, I don't actually remember talking about that. I'll get to that in a second. Um, and the second reason, you guys gotta love how ADHD, ADD, 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 Whatever the one is where I can't concentrate. Because that's me. That's that's totally me. Um, also, I'm not using my webcam this time because... Fuck webcams. That's why. Um, anyway. Now, the second reason is because out of every archetype that came out of Duelist Alliance, I don't even see anywhere tapping with this. And it's just an amazing wonder as to why it's not because... It is this huge, huge underdog deck. And I was thinking, you know, Burning Abyss is. And I was just like, no, 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 no. I, I start looking at this stuff more and I'm like, this stuff? Because I thought, originally, this stuff was going to be like the next Dragon Ruler kind of thing. And this is going to crash the format. And Shadows and Stella Knights are going to be on the same freaking tier. But they're not. And just an FYI, I really freaking hate Satellar. I mean, I really hate them. I love being able to go super polymerization when I'm using Shadows, but that's another story. We're not talking about Shadows. We're talking about this deck, and uh, let's just get over the basics of it. Uh, talk about the first one up. Um, doesn't, yeah, he has the right name. Uh, Ging... Ging. I keep wanting to say Ying Yang because it's basically what it is. But anyway, it's Yang, uh, Yang Zing Sunai. Um, basically, has yes, all the same effects. They all have the same effect. Where if they're destroyed by battle or by a card effect, they can special summon out one. Um, two of them special summon them out in face up defense mode. Two of them special summon out in face up attack, and then one just special summons out in face up attack or face up defense. Your choice. Um. Though they all have individual effects. So the first one we'll be talking about is uh, Sunai's effect, which is basically when he's used as a synchro material for synchro summon. Oh, and uh, I'll finish that, what I'm saying, before I go off track even more. When he's used for a synchro material for synchro summon, um, that synchro monster, said synchro monster, gains 500 attack and defense. So. That's not terrible. That puts our, our main go-to card, which is this one, our uh, Baxia. Baxia? I'm, I'm, I, I don't ever know if I'm pronouncing Yu-Gi-Oh cards names right, so if I ever pronounce it wrong, feel free to just dog on me about it because I am a scrub, and that's what scrubs do. We pronounce card names wrong because why not? We're scrubs. Uh, back to this one. Um... But yeah, it's not, it's not a terrible thing. I mean, you get out nice monsters with it. I mean, I'm not complaining about a 2800 Armades. I'm not complaining about a 3000 Stardust. I'm not complaining about monsters with outrageous attack like Crimson Blader that you can't get over unless you get out stupid stuff like Construct or this or this. Just why is that still the OCG name? Is that is this still the OCG name? No, that's English. This is why does this? I don't even know. That's not a separate topic. Is it still? This is Gunman. This is awesome. Anyway, um, back to these cards. The other cool thing about them is, uh, where is it? Once per turn during your opponent's main phase or your opponent's battle phase, you can immediately after this effect resolves, which would basically be it being special summoned by its set effect, or basically you. Yeah, by you either special summoning it from another card or from its own, of, like, having it destroyed and then special summoning out another one, then it gets special summoned. It's, they all have this effect, so anyway. 
Um, you can immediately, after this effect resolves, synchro summon one synchro monster using Yang Zing monsters you control only. This is a quick effect. So, yeah, basically it's like an urgent tuning built into them. If you don't know what urgent tuning is, I'll just show you really quick. It came out back when synchros... That's not how you spell urgent. That, it's nice, but there we go. Okay. This is what it is. Except they only do it during the battle phase. Um, kind of similar effect to like uh, Formula Synchron. But it's a combination of Formula Synchron and Urgent Tuning into one monster for the effect. Uh, we're going to get over our second one, which is Bion. Uh, like I said, has all the same effects of whenever. They all have the same effect whenever they're destroyed by battle or by card effect. They can special summon out another one except themselves. Um, his only effect, though, when he's used as a synchro material, uh, that synchro monster cannot be destroyed by battle. So there you go. Nice little monster can't be destroyed by battle. I mean, you it's basically putting your monsters in armor master, but you still take damage. So you could put something up to just be a wall, like uh, stuff we get over Stardust. Maybe like Crimson Blader. Yeah, Crimson Blader has the highest defense. I mean, something with a really high defense. Crimson Blader, Baxia, just throw it in defense mode if you really want to. And you've just got yourself a wall that can just sit there until you get rid of it via a card effect. But if you use any of the other ones that we'll talk about, then they got to get rid of it via a monster effect. Which, I I really hate that. I don't know if... We'll, we'll look at the other one in a second. Uh, we're just going to talk about the TCG ones currently at the moment. And we may look at the other ones if I get into it. Um, next one up is Bixie. And Bixie's effect is basically it makes your synchro monster unaffected by traps. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of format we're seeing this, 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 other stupid stuff like this. It's just stupid. And I keep going back over here, so ignore this. Um, but yeah, it, which is weird because from looking at the them in the uh, OCG, I thought this one would have, uh, the Shuni would have had the effect of making it unaffected by traps. It's the red, it's red, so you would associate it immediately with traps, not blue. But, um, anyway, so the next one we move on to, um, just talk about this one. So, yeah, like I said, just it's just, just weird how they just, like, it's just weird. I, I, I would have preferred the other way. But anyway, um, our next card, however, semi-translates into being being right. Um, basically, into vice versa, this does traps, and this does spells. So if you use this as a synchro material, it basically makes you untouchable by spells. And that's kind of good. I mean, that makes you invulnerable to things like Dark Hole, Lands, Chalice, um, any other kind of spell card that would just take a crap on your day. Uh, let's see. And then we move on to our last one. Wow, that's one hell of a name change. Anyway, um, Chewin. And. Chewin actually doesn't have an effect when he uses a synchro material, which is weird. But then he has this nice little effect, which um, basically, if any of these other guys are destroyed or another Gang Zing, you know, any Gang Zing monster you control is destroyed by Ballard by card effect, including him, you get to basically special summon him out of the graveyard. And. I mean, that's not terrible. So it's like if you have one on the field and then you have one in the graveyard, you'd be like, oh, I could special summon him out, but then you wouldn't be able to use the effect for someone out of the deck. So it's kind of, you don't ever want to do that. Um, you don't really ever want to special summon out of the graveyard with his effect a lot of times because he gets removed from play afterwards when he's used as a synchro material. So. Basically, you want to wait till the good, till the time is right to use him, because then you're be, you basically a, a good time to use him is when um, you're you basically have gotten these out. Like you know for sure you're gonna be able to get these out and keep them on the field. 
that the last monster that would get destroyed to bring out either one of these, you would then use his effect to sit there and thrust summon him out. So that way next turn you can go into Baxia and just ex uh, <laughs> synchro exceed. <laughs> What's that? No. Uh, so you basically synchro and then be able to pop three cards. At the very least, no matter what with Baxia, you're going to pop at least one, if not two cards. But you'll at least pop one. Uh, moving on to the other Yang Zing related card, we have our own themed Pot of Avarice. Um, sadly though, you can only activate one of these per turn. Just like all of their effects are, all their effects are can, you can aren't like you can use them over and over and over again. You can only use all their effects once per turn. So it's like if you choose to do one, you can't do the other. If I destroy, if he gets destroyed by a card effect, I throw something out him. And then I supposed to summon out him, and then he would get destroyed, I would be able to special summon out another card. So basically think of them as dragon rulers where they have the all individual effects, but you can only use one of them per turn kind of deal. Same thing goes for this. Um basically you target three Yang Zings, shuffle them back into your deck, and then draw two cards. Uh, in case anyone is wondering, yes, you can sit there and reshuffle the um, synchro back into the deck because it does not specify main deck. And if it did say main deck, then it would basically screw you because you couldn't sit there and put the synchro back to the extra deck because it's not the main deck. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know that, just to clarify, the next thing we're moving on is Yang Zing Creation. You want to run three of these. Um, it's basically you have one monster that's on the field regardless if it's Yang Zing or not and it gets destroyed you just special 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 and it's amazing so if you have like a Yang Zing on the field and then like two or three of these you're guaranteed to get a Baxia next turn if they don't negate it but yeah this this is amazing I love when it activates especially when you change them with this um Moving it, oh yeah, but you should know basically by looking at supply unit why we run it in this deck because they all get their effects off. Something gets, would be destroyed whether I do it by his effect or something else, and I got this face up. I'm gonna plus off of that immediately. Um, we are running Dark Dust Spirit in this deck because I like to be able to go. I have one or two of my lower, like I'll have him and him. And I'll have like a set him. I'll just like Doctor Spirit, tribute that, destroy this and this, destroy my opponent's face up monsters, and then special, special, and then effect. It's quite lovely because then I can go box in to get rid of anything else I need to. So it's really nice in this deck. Um, I've actually seen a lot of people. Doing Junk Synchron before it was running Debris Dragon and Mass Chameleon. I might put Mass Chameleon back in here, but still there's a load of consistency issues because stuff has to get to the graveyard. I might throw in a Foolish Burial, but at the same time I don't want to. Um, so we're running him just so we can sit there and basically normal summon him, special summon out that, special summon out that, special summon out that. Just to make the flow of the deck easier, we're running two Rotas so we can search out him because he has a warrior. Uh, Dark Hole and Torrential are basically key cards you need because they just help you further yourself. Um, we're running Dimensional Prison because why not? Shadows are a thing. Um, because I hate Satellers, I'm running three Breakthrough and two Fiendish Chain because I really, really hate Satellers. And then two Call Haunted. Just go over the extra deck really quick. Formula synchrons, because you can make them really easy. Armadies and that, because you can make them really easy. Easy stuff to make. And this is just a more advanced version of this, so it helps me out a lot. Main decking, side siding three MS trees, two Imperial Iron Walls, three of these, because I hate Satillers, two just to really hate on Satillers, and these for Shadows, and then these. To really hate on tellers. So that is the deck profile that is a little bit understanding more of it. I'll upload some more game footage of it so you can see how it plays. Um, Kung Pao, everyone. Bye bye.